Hey, this is Mark Goldberg from Mark Vlogs Watches, and you're in the Sanctum Sanctorum right now. In previous videos, you know I've been remodeling the house. This is the bedroom. It's all teal, and there's where the magic happens. But like, it's this place is a wreck because the painters just left today. So remodeling has been going on. The paint has been painted, and uh, I got a lot to do in here now. But you know what? I want to tell you a story. But first, quick wristwatch check. And uh, it's the Batman, guys. I ran outside because you really cannot appreciate this watch in artificial light. You got to really see it in sunlight, especially if it's up against a beautiful lilac tree and a garbage can that blew out because of the storms that we've been having here in the Chicago area. Anyway, isn't that gorgeous? It's the Rolex Batman. Anyway, guys, I've got a story I want to tell you, so sit tight and hear a tale. So I have been traveling quite a lot, and here is some footage that I shot. Um, this past Christmas in Mexico City. And in fact, I have a special someone in Mexico City now, and so I am going quite regularly to visit. It's a beautiful city, and it is the new it place for food and speakeasies and fancy cocktails. And uh, if you have ever heard anything bad about Mexico City, let me tell you what, this is one amazing city. Now, of course, it's 22 million people, so does it have its bad areas? Yeah, it does just like Chicago does where I live, but um, it has like basically amazing everything as you can see here. So um, anyway, while you're looking at this footage, I'll tell you my story. When um, I, you know, I enjoyed my trip and this trip was like many of the others that I've taken, which is to say, you know, have a great time. Oh, and Mexico has got watches. Let me tell you, they have um, in the Polanco neighborhood, there's a Rolex. Um, AD with like multiple stories, a big, huge building. And then there's Cartier and there's the Palacio del Hierro, which has every brand that you ever heard of between Zenith and Breitling and Mont Blanc and like, you know, just everything is there. But of course, eventually I have to come home and pass through the customs area at O'Hare Airport in order to come home. Now, some people get to use the global entry kiosks if you have global entry, um, which is a background check and fingerprints and all sorts of stuff. Um, and you know what? I, I never had that. So normally I wait in line, um, but the lines can be extremely intense like you see here. And you have to deal with customs agents who can be a little bit persnickety on the one hand. On the other hand, look at those lines. Look what they have to deal with. And and they are like the last line of defense for the United States of America. So trust me, I don't enjoy the process, but I don't envy the um, Customs and Border Patrol their job because trust me, it's not easy. But I thought there has to be a better way. Why don't I get this global entry thing? So I go online and I jump through all the governmental hoops in order to set up an appointment um, to get my fingerprints taken, to have an interview. Um, global entry ensures that you're a safe person to enter the United States and so you get a little less scrutiny in return for uh, you know a background check and fingerprints so um, anyway I go to the airport because I've waited six weeks and now it's my turn and when I get there uh, I register at the desk bulletproof glass I've got a um, customs uh, and border patrol law enforcement agent he is wearing full uniform and a bulletproof vest he uh, checks me in by glancing at my passport and then uh, because I'm right on time, they're very efficient at, at O'Hare. He took me right back to my interview with another uh, customs and border protection agent. You can look at this random but very beautiful picture of the Chicago skyline that I recently took on my iPhone while I tell you the rest of the story. Anyway, so the, um, the one uh, officer leaves me with the other officer in order to do my interview. But within two minutes, he's back. And he, he, he says, excuse me, guys, um, I, I, can I interrupt your interview for a minute? He says to his colleague. And then uh, he taps me on the shoulder. He looks at me and he goes, I just want to tell you I love your videos. And I was taken aback. I'm like, what, what videos? What, what do you mean? And he said, uh, your watch videos. I just, I love your watch videos. And I'm thinking, oh my God, how deep an investigation do you people do? And I started to ask him, do you investigate this? He goes, no, I'm a watch guy. And as the second he said that, the bond, <laughs> you know, began. I mean, there we are, two guys. And then both of us watch guys in the bowels of, uh, in the bowels of O'Hare Airport. You know, he's doing his job. I'm trying to get through my day. And, and it was just a beautiful connection. So, uh, hey, take a look at his watch. Now, for matters of personal and public security, I'm not going to show this officer's face or use his name, but um, here is the watch that he told me was his grail. It's a Grand Seiko spring drive with a power reserve, and it is beautiful. It has a gorgeous black dial, and of course, if you know anything about the Grand Seiko spring drive, there is a 
there is a smooth sweep. There is like zero tick uh, to that second hand. It uses a combination of kinetic energy and an automatic movement. It's a hybrid movement. It's really quite interesting and it's an expensive watch. And um, I gotta say, I don't think US Border and Customs Patrol or Protection is paid like inordinate sums of money. So this is a significant buy for this gentleman. And, and when I admired his watch, he told me in the most loving way, you know, just making love to his watch with his voice, he said, it's my grail. I gotta say, I had an incredible experience. You know, Officer Friendly, that, that's the code name I'm going to use for you. Officer Friendly, thanks for making my day. I hope uh, I brightened yours up a little bit from one watch guy to another. I want to bless you and thank you for the work that you're doing. It's important. Okay, guys, Mark Goldberg, Mark Vlogs Watches. And remember, be nice to your customs agent. It's a tough job. Please smash the like button. Please hit the subscribe button. And also tell me your travel stories that involve watches. I want to hear what's happened to you. For example, I don't like putting mine through the, um, you know, the little metal detector. I kind of insist on wearing them and they don't usually set off the metal detectors, but sometimes that annoys TSA. What do you guys do? 